Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 12D, Reinstein here, how are you doing? Big hugs from me to all of you. Now in this episode, hopefully what I'm going to do is finally get my hydroponics lab up and running. But in order to do that, if you've been following me, what I need to do is build this wall around the geothermal generator, channel the heat all the way through here, and hopefully heat up the hydroponics area because the hydroponics is at like minus 31 right now. And obviously that's not enough to grow anything. Um, the other thing is it looks like we're kind of running out of battery power. I wonder why. We've got loads of geothermals going on. Is there any in any disruption in the power? There isn't, so I don't really know what's going on there. Louise, you're delivering food to bust out. Now, if I can, I'm going to get Mr. Ash and Crow to repair these power cables because seeing that little red spark is driving me absolutely bonkers because it means something is broken and needs repairing. Okay, let's repair that granite sculpture too. Now, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we had a raid, which we managed to fight off, and we kidnapped this guy, Ornip. I think that's how you pronounce it. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to try and convince him to join our colony. Now, it's not a big issue if they, if neither of these join our colony because we are using um, it for negotiation skills. Um, we're using them for negotiation skills. So, Louise is our main negotiator. And actually, also in the last episode, I requested or let you know about an idea I had where we vote for, like, the top three performers in our colony. Now, what I wanted to do was hopefully get that up and running. So if you guys could message me as quick as you can and let me know what you think about that idea, that would be fantastic. Ooh, an area revealed, lol. Little tiny area there. We've just got some more pirate merchants visiting us. Now, I don't know if I'm going to talk to them or not. I'm slightly concerned here. I'm looking at our food supplies and realizing that it is deteriorating. So before that gets too bad, it's really important that we get this hydroponics area sorted out. So, I'm just hoping they'll hurry up and build. We planned it all with granite blocks. Obviously, we can change that if we have to. Uh, Chris, I've, I've actually set a load of people to do the constructing, or three of you now, rather than just uh, Chloe, because that's not fair on Chloe. She can't keep up with the work. Uh, I just want to check on my piggies as well. How are you guys doing in your training? Five out of eight now, this piggy. Sweet. What about this one? Four out of eight. Good. That'll be one less thing to worry about if they start uh, hauling for us. Ah, oh, this turret up here is really busted up. I guess we want to fix that up. Ah, Crystal's building our fifth and final, at least for the moment, hydroponics table. Yeah, come on. We need these walls built and we need that mining done. And then the plan was remove this door and hopefully that will give off enough heat to heat all of this. But I am slightly concerned that it's going to heat it up too much because I've never done this before. This is kind of stepping into the unknown. So fingers crossed and all that. Good chap. Uh, structure. What have we got there? Sandstone. All right, I'm going to use some sandstone. And... Put that there. Just thinking about it. I'm going to put a door here. Because if it does get too hot, an emergency solution would be to just open the door. Actually, this needs repairing as well slightly. That generator. Splendid. These walls need repairing. Yeah, that's it, Chloe. More cargo pods. Damn, son. We're just getting stuff dumped on us left, right, and center. What have we got here? Wog fur. Sweet. A personal shield worn by Nora has deteriorated away from nothing. Yeah, it was 1% in the last episode, so not surprised there. All right, Crystal's keeping up the build. Good stuff. All right, we're going to need to haul all of these blocks out of the way as well if we're to channel this heat efficiently. So I might need to do that manually because that is going to take a while. Let's get old S to help out here. You don't need to haul it all the way. Just get it out of there. Because otherwise, I, th I suspect it would block the the heat. Right? Probably would. 
Oh, good trader. Ooh, that's possibly good news. We might have some stuff to sell them. Uh, come here, Est. Keep going, love. You're nearly done. Ah, Lord Cucumber's taking care of the door there. Splendid. Right, now let's give that bulk goods trader a call. We'll get Nora on it. Come here, love. How are we doing? What Have we got any human stuff that we can sell? We Doesn't look like we do. Camel hair. Have we got any surplus of anything? Not really. We could sell the gold. That might keep us in food for a while. I don't know. What should I do, guys? I think we're going to run out of food. Mm, we have 12 silver, which is not enough to do anything with. I think we've got to keep our fingers crossed a uh, trader comes along so we can sell the clothes and a couple of weapons that we have. Uh, other than that, I'm a bit, a bit worried. Oh, cool. This is nearly done. Our hydroponics heating system is nearly done. Yay. Crystal, I don't want you to smooth the floor, love. I need you to haul these blocks out to the road. Let's get these ones out. And that one. And that one. Yeah, look at that. The, the airway's nearly smoothed out. And after this is done, and th those walls are complete, we'll be good to go. We'll see what the heat is, and obviously if it's too hot, we'll, uh, we'll say no and cancel that. Okay, Crystal, one more block, and the system is smooth. Okay, what I'm going to do is reinforce the walls around here as well. Slightly worried that the enemy will decide, we're just going to mine through your base. Oh, we've got a manhunter pack. Where is this manhunter pack? Ele Manhunting elephants have entered the area. <gasps> That's perfect, although they will kick the crap out of my turrets. If they choose to attack them, it's a potentially a source of food. So, I'm going to need to be careful here and set up a new zone. Area 1. If I expand that. Just to cover the entirety of my base here. So, my, my team are just going to hide for a little while. I think that's probably the best course of action. So, let's go to restrictions. Area 1. And we're good. Here they come. Here comes the rampaging elephants. <laughs> They're definitely going to kill this turret, yeah? Yeah, they are. No, elephants are tough as hell, man. Where are they going now? Yeah, come through this way. Come on, come to the turret zone. We can always replace these if we have to. Actually, looking at it, there's a lot of turrets that need replacing. Come on, elephants. Come around this way. Come on, walk over. Yeah, here he comes. Go turret, kick his ass. Yes, there's one down. Put him out of his misery. Yes, two down. Sweet, that's going to give us absolutely tons of meat. Right, Lord Cucumber, how would you fancy going out there and hauling in an elephant? Yeah, let's put you on unrestricted so we'll be allowed to do that. Come here, lad. There you go. And that will lure these other two elephants this way. And then the turrets will open fire, I assume. No, they haven't They haven't sniffed you, Lord Cucumber. You're obviously too clean. Stop showering, mate. We need a bit of BO to lure these guys over. Look at that blood they're creating. Ah, cool. They, they sensed you that time. Well, the, the first time you hauled the elephant, they were like, oh, you don't smell. But after hauling the first one, just made you stink like a mouse. <laughs> Yeah, there's three elephants down. Ah, yeah, we'll wait. Okay, uh, there's just one elephant left now, really. And then we can hopefully finish up our geothermal heating element. Crikey, it's taking a while. Right, Est. That's forbidden. It was Lord Cucumber who were doing the hauling, weren't it? There you go, lad. Oh, what's going on here? Haul the elephant there. Yes, and that's lured this one over. Oh, there's an elephant tusks as well. I think they sell for good money. Yeah. Okay, this has been a worthwhile challenge. Uh, 
Yes, he's been put out of his misery. So now we can set everyone on unrestricted again. And they're free to go on their merry way. Ash and Crow, you come bring this elephant in. Thank you very much, sir. And S, what are you doing? Holding mobile chunk. No way. Hold the elephant tusk. See we see see what we can get for this. Pretty sure they sell for like a hundred or two hundred each. Ah, damn, boat goods traders left. Damn you. Okay, come on, people, build our wall. Slate blocks. Oh, we haven't got any granite left. That's why they're not building it. Darn it. Okay, let's switch that then. There we go. And change it to... We have got plenty of sandstone, so we'll use that. And replace these. Oh, God damn it! It's cancelled over there as well. Hot damn, my lord. That ain't the way we do it around here. There we go. Built some water over there. Lovely. Okay, are you ready, people? Let's see how this heating goes. There, yeah, crystal straight on it. Look. I should go around there to build that first. That's not really priority, but all right. We'll let you do it. Look at these elephants. Sweet. Butcher creature set forever, but look at the food. Decreasing rapidly. Having these two prisoners is a bit of an issue, I think. Combat supplier, anyway. That will enable me to get some money in. And no one is awake except Crystal, so. Ah, Mr. Cucumber. Stop running away, sir. Come and speak to these. Frag grenades, Molotovs. Yes, we can sell those. And a pump shotgun. Medicine's running low. Uh, we do need to focus on food, so I'm just going to worry about that for now. But we've only got 14 medicine left. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah, they're building our batteries. Good. Come on, people. Build these walls. Come on. Wakey, wakey. I don't know if we can afford to keep these two prisoners, you know. How's Louise doing on our negotiation skills? She's still at seven. See, it does go up. Oh, and it, I think you're going to have to leave. I'm making an executive decision. You will be released. It's against my, against my will, but I don't think we can afford to feed you anymore. We may regret it once we've got our hydroponic sorted out, but I may not. The piggies are obviously also... Uh, causing a bit of an issue because they're going to eat a lot of food but too bad too bad indeed you know what I need to do I need to find more steel ah Ash and Crow's mining it now and build more turrets I think these internal turrets are alright we got one there two there mm, I would really rather have three there at least I'm going to put two more there I think that should be alright like that. Yeah, just to just to safeguard us a little bit, I think. It's probably a good plan. Actually, you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to build a wall across here just to discourage slightly the enemy from coming in around this way. You know, straight down there. Oh, this is nearly done. Cool. How's the temperatures now? Temperature minus 31. So is that unroofed? Constructed roof. It does have a roof. Is it not working? What the hell's going on? Supposedly it has a roof on it. But it's not heating anything up. Mm, could just be these walls. Fingers crossed when they're built it's going to work properly. Please, please, please. Oh, good. Our prison has been released. Sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah. I wanted to build a tailor's workshop as well, didn't I? So, we don't really have too much room to put this. I'm going to put it there, I think. Get rid of that. We don't need the animal sleeping box. Okay, come on. Finish up these walls. There's a little cucumber on it. Oh, like a boss. Go on, son. Really need to see what these temperatures do. Okay, I'm just going to focus here just for a minute, guys. Is 
there a roof there? What's going on here? Temperature minus 28 indoors. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe we need to link both of them. Oh, that would be a challenge. Damn it, that sucks. Well, until we get that working, I'm going to have to install some heaters because we desperately need food in here. Yeah, like so. Come on, people. This is a bit of a... Bit of a naff plan. It doesn't seem to be working too good. Maybe double walling it might help. Could try that, I guess. Might as well give it a go, eh? Put double doors here. Double door there. Yeah, like so. See how that works. Didn't expect this, but you never know. What's happened to these graves? They're supposed to be opened. Mm. Alright, well, overall, things are going really well. Regardless of the hydroponics area still not functioning, I'm still pretty pleased. You know what? We need... Who is it? Who's doing the crafting? It was you, wasn't it, Lord Cucumber? I'm going to put you on that again. We need more blocks. And... So Crystal is still constructing. Yeah, we'll keep that. And we should be good. Nora is, is gradually using all the food we have here. We should have a fresh intake of food. That is one of my big concerns, actually, though. Very soon we are going to run out of food and I don't know if I can prevent it because doing this is taking freaking ages. Okay, little cucumber, you're doing sandstone. Alright. You got a long way to go to get those blocks. Hmm. That's a pain the butt talks. Ooh, an escape pod! Sweet! You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. Let's go take a look. Alaska. Oh my god, you big man. Recruitment difficulty five. Cool. Try to recruit. Yeah, let's do that. And that means we need Louise, right? Uh, I guess she'll just go out there and talk to him? Hmm. Rescue, I guess, first of all. And then try and recruit. Yeah, that should work. Alright. Now, where's Crystal? Crystal, instead of constructing... I'm going to get you crafting. So we can get more of these blocks more quickly. And hopefully this thing will heat up like I thought it would. I guess the new heat mechanics are... Uh, playing havoc because before that would have rocketed the temperatures up they would have gone to like plus 400 or something i'm sure of it <gasps> there's alaska cool all right you're our guest so try to recruit recruitment difficulty 50 and you need medicating gets food and gets herbal medicine Hypothermia. Temperatures indoors are still relatively good. Okay. Ash and Crow. Aha, you're looking after Alaska. What's your um, skill at medicine now? 13. Not bad at all. Okay, Louise. Can I send you over here? Prioritize, yeah. Prioritize recruiting Alaska. Let's see how this goes. Would you mind joining my colony? It would be ever so splendid. And what are your skills, anyway? Let's take a look at your character. Careful shooter, steadfast, and abrasive, but incapable of dumb labor. Even so, extra colonists who shoot is a bonus. Where are you going now? Hauling marble chunk. Hey, the piggy's helping haul. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mr. Piggy. Do you know what? That dumping stockpile is far away I'm going to create a small dumping stockpile around here I think and make that 
important. So that way, people who are getting the blocks don't need to go so far. Now, oh, there's a combat supplier. We don't have anything to trade anyway, so that's no good. Um, yeah, it's spring now, so if temperatures rise enough, I may be lucky enough for the snow to melt, and then I can find an area where we can potentially put another greenhouse. Which would be immensely helpful, because our hydroponics experiment is going badly. But you never know, the temperature increases might also raise the temperature in here enough. Hmm. Ooh, because Alaska... Ah, oh, Alaska's left and didn't join us, but she left the map healthily, and relations with Spacer have improved by 15. So, Spacer, who are they? There is no one called Spacer. God damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh well. We missed out. I think I've messed up that, um, that interaction. Never mind. What can we do? Not a lot. Okay, well... This episode is not going quite as planned. I did plan on getting this completely built and working so it would heat up our growing area, but it hasn't worked out that that well, so I'm slightly disappointed. But nonetheless, we shall plod on and try not to worry. Crystal, aha, you're still making blocks. What's been Chloe been up to then? I wonder what Chloe's been doing. Hmm. Nevertheless, I think we're about at the end of the episode. But before I do that, let's go to the exotic goods trader and see what money can be made from selling these cloves. Aha, okay. Fair bit of money. It's not to be sniffed at when you're scrabbling around trying to keep your colony fed. Uh, Doomsday rocket launcher. Yeah, see these elephant tusks? 169 each. Sweet. And a scyther blade, 706. Damn, I did not know that. That puts me at 1,268 silver. M uh, amazing. I'm quite gobsmacked by that. Awesome. So if a bulk goods trader comes by again, we'll be able to buy absolutely tons of food. Yes. Good end to the episode. Okay. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Please join me tomorrow for the next episode where more exciting stuff should happen on the rim. Have a lovely day. Big hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.